What were you doing when you were 13 years old? Trying to save the world? Alex Small is not your typical seventh grader. He created a nonprofit using soccer to eradicate malaria in Africa. Africa, a continent perceived as a lost cause, a continent perceived to be filled with poverty, underdevelopment, disease, and utter hopelessness. Most people know about Africa through the immediate request for food and clothing. Although there have been many efforts to solve many issues, the global picture painted about contemporary Africa is therefore grim, people casting thoughts on the future of the continent. But that's not the case for this state college kid. Alex Small is not your typical seventh grader. He, on the other hand, wants to help others through playing his favorite sport, soccer. I chose malaria because um, I realized that there's cancer, but that's like here in the US, and people already, like it's a big thing. And malaria kind of affects the whole continent of Africa, because not only does malaria kill a child every 45 seconds, it takes one out of school every 30. And so that limits the growth for Africa, whereas cancer, like, although it is very deadly, it's like we still can innovate, whereas Africa has never been able to get off the ground because of malaria affecting so many people. The score goal, save a life, is our uh, slogan. It's like, so if, I, if our team were to score a goal, it only costs a dollar to fix somebody with malaria or cure somebody. And so it's, you're really saving a life. If you, say if you get a, one dollar, from five different people, that's five dollars per goal. You save five kids in Africa's lives with just that one goal. Malaria takes a child's life every minute, caused by a female mosquito. While 90% of deaths occur in Africa, through his father's guidance, Alex's Nets for Nets idea was ready to launch in 2012. His father, Kerry Small, is the owner of Surge Business Development, located on Atherton Street. My son actually got me very excited about Nets for Nets. He had done a profile on Scott Case, and Scott Case had founded Malaria No More. And my son became very interested in helping people in Africa overcome the scourge of malaria. And for a while, he would give us facts and talk about it. And I finally said, well, what are you going to do about it? And he said, well, I'm not going to do a lemonade stand. I want to do something really great. Since Nets for Nets took off, they've been a staff of people supporting the cause. For a guy who's 13 years old, he's got a real, real keen sense of his place in the world, not just, you know, most kids at his age are uh, finding their way just within their community or within, you know, their family. And Alex has a sense of what his role could be uh, beyond just his family, his community, and indeed, the, you know, where he can fit into doing some good things in the world. Inspired by Malaria No More, the ultimate goal for Nets for Nets is to completely eradicate malaria in Africa by 2014. They're doing so by teaming with youth soccer programs across the nation. For In the Game, I'm Wilson Magua. For more information, you can visit netsfornets.org and contribute. That's it for today's edition of In the Game. For more stories, visit our website, psucommedia.com. I'm Carissa Maxwell. And I'm Kevin Gallagher. Have a great day.